हाय एवरीवन आई शुरुजीत वेलकम यू ऑल ऑन इकोनोमेट्रिक्स दी चैनल आज हम लोग सीखने वाले हैं क्लास सेवन का मैथमेटिक्स तो चलिए बिना वक्त गवाएं शुरू करते हैं आज का क्लास नाउ टुडे क्लास सेवन स्टूडेंट्स वी आर अगेन गोइंग टू कंटिन्यू विथ चैप्टर सिक्स and we are going to continue with algebraic expressions and today's part is part 7 those who have not watched the previous parts that is from part 1 to part 6 i have shared the link at the end of the video so do watch those parts and then watch this part then what will happen the concept will be much more clearer and it will be able or it will you will find much more easier to solve the sums okay and today we are going to continue with exercise 6.4 and today's sum is question number 4 till our last part we did up to 3 and now today we will solve question number 4 now four. what they are telling in question number 4 a ribbon's length is 5x plus 5 meter if 3x plus 3 meter is cut out or cut from it how much part of the ribbon is left so how we will start the answer we will write answer okay and length of the ribbon told so length of the ribbon okay it is how much 5x plus 5 meter okay then how much part you have cut out 3x plus 3 meter so length of the cut out part of the ribbon so length of the cut out part of the ribbon is what 3x plus 3 and meter these statements you can prepare by yourself okay so therefore how much part of the ribbon is left so length of the ribbon left over equal to so from this you are cutting out this part so 5x plus 5 you will subtract okay 3x plus 3 and saying no and you can give a bracket like this way and then you can give meter clear now if i want to open the bracket 5x plus 5 minus 3x Plus minus minus three and then bracket close and meter. Now like terms five x minus three x. So how much comes two x plus five minus three. So how much comes plus two. Clear no? Five x minus three x is two x. Or plus five minus three is what plus two. And you can put it like this way and you can write meter and this will be the answer. So you can write the answer. or another thing you can do if you want you can take from here two common and then x plus 1 and meter so this also is the answer whichever you find easy you can do it okay now Clear. we will solve question number 5 so let us see what they are telling what should be added to 4x square minus 5xy plus 9 to get minus 2x square plus 3x minus 5 so this type of sum let me explain you if i write what should be what should be added to 10 okay what should be added to 10 to get suppose 16 to get 16 so what you will do 16 minus 10 equal to 6 so you need 6 to be added to 10 okay so like this you to understand so from here what you learn that second one minus the first one you have to do so here also same thing the second one minus the first one and you will get the answer but here many students okay they do in different different way teachers told teach them in different different way one way i told you the second one minus the first one if you do you will get the answer okay if i want to do like that also i can do it or i can do like this way also another way if i take let 
P be added. Let P be added to what? 4x square minus 5x plus 5xy plus 9 to get what? To get minus 2x square plus 3xy. Okay, xy. I am not writing xy minus 5. So, like this way I can say. So, what p plus, then I will write this one, 4x square minus 5xy plus 9 and then equal to what? Minus 2x square plus 3xy minus 5. Okay, minus 5. Here will be the bracket. Now, only p will be how much? So, minus 2x square plus 3xy xy. I am writing only y first. Minus 5. Then this whole thing if it goes that side, so minus and then you will write 4x square minus 5xy plus 9. Okay. So, like this way you can do or simply which I told you if you cannot do like that way, second minus first. So, let me show you that only the simple way. So, second one is what? Minus 2x square plus 3xy minus 5. So, I wrote this one. Then minus, okay. And then the first one. 4x square minus 5xy plus 9, okay. That is another way of doing. This is another way of doing. Now, I will open the bracket minus 2x square plus 3xy minus 5, no sign change, but now sign will be changing. Why? Minus is there, danger. So, minus 4x square plus 5xy minus 9, clear? Now, we will see the terms, like terms, x square, here x square. So, both are having minus sign. So, same sign we will add, but the sign we will take minus only. 2x square or 4x square becomes what? 6. So, 6x square, okay. After that, what it is there? 3xy. See here, 3xy, 5xy. So, plus, plus, we will add and the sign we will take plus only 3 and 5 adding means how much? 8xy. Clear or no? And now, the constant term or we can say the number. So, minus 5, minus 9. Both are same sign. So, we will add and the sign will be minus. 5 or 9, if you add it, it comes how much? 14. So, this is the answer. So, how you will write this answer? Therefore, minus 6x square plus 8xy minus 14. This thing you have to write if you do like this way. Okay. If you do like this way, you have to write. This thing should be, should be added should be added to which one 4 x square minus 5 x y plus 9 to get what minus 2 x square plus 3 x y minus 5 and then this is the answer. So, after subtracting you have to write this way that what you got after subtracting this one you got minus 6x square plus 8xy minus 14. So, that should be added to now according to the question 4x square minus 5x square xy plus 9 to get minus 2x square plus 3xy minus 5. If you do not write this answer your teacher may cut one mark. If it carries three marks the teacher will give you two marks and may cut one mark. It depends upon, it varies from teacher to teacher. May cut marks also, may not cut marks also. Clear or no? So, why to take chances? Why to take risk? Uh, write this one and you get the full marks. Okay. Now, students, if you like this video, if you like my channel, then I would like to request all my students to please give a like, share this video more and more with your friends, classmates and relatives and don't forget to subscribe my channel because when you subscribe, it really, really motivates me to make more such interesting videos for you all. And don't forget to press the all notification bell thinking so that whenever I upload such videos, you are going to get the notifications first. 
now we will move on to the next now question. we have come to the last sum of this exercise 6.4 so what it is telling what should be subtracted from 7x cube minus 11x square plus 5x minus 9 to get 3x cube plus 15x plus 7 okay so to understand this one again same way what should be if i write what should be subtracted what should be subtracted from 20 to get to get what suppose to get uh, 8 so how to do it 20 minus 8 that means the answer is what 12 so like this way you can do it 20 minus 8 that is 12 that means first one minus the second one okay so here also same way answer so i will write the first one so 7 x cube minus 11 x square plus 5 x minus 9 now let me do this sum uh, in column method and i will subtract this one so what 3 x cube then plus 15 x so plus 15 x then plus 7. So, I have to subtract. So, I will change the sign minus this plus will become minus this plus will become minus. Now, minus minus same sign we will add but the sign will be minus 9 and 7 if you add how much comes 16. So, minus 16. Now, here plus or minus that means different sign we will subtract. Okay. So, 5 or 15 subtracting is what 10 x and the sign 15 is big so we will write minus sign clear no now minus 11 x square here nothing is there so i will write minus 11 x square now here plus or minus different sign so different sign what to do we have to subtract 7 and 4 uh, 7 and 3 becomes how much 4 so 4 x cube so now which sign we will take plus sign now minus sign we will take the plus sign so we will write plus plus no need of writing so this is the answer what is the answer 4x cube minus 11x square minus 10x minus 16 but you have to write this one therefore 4x cube minus 11x square minus 10x minus 16 so this thing this line you have to write again I am telling you should because you should not take any chance any uh, risk clear no so this should now you write this sentence should be subtracted should be subtracted from what 7x cube minus 11x square plus 5x minus 9 to get to get what 3 x cube plus 15 x plus 7 and then you write answer okay you can write the answer okay so if you write like this way no one can cut one single mark also even half mark also no one no one can cut clear no so i hope you have understood sum number six as well as all the sums from this exercise exercise 6.4 now it is your duty to practice these sums again and again why because your exams are approaching so video agar acha lage to video ko like share or subscribe karna mat bhuliyega milte hain aur ek acche naye content ke sath tab tak ke liye bye